Well, just to pick up from where we left off in the first part of tonight's class, we've been talking about the whole Aliyah, the process of ascent that takes place through following the daily prayer service, the daily morning prayer service, according to the Kabanot of the Kabbalah. And we are joining each world to the world above it, each part of each world to the part of that world which is above it. And just very briefly to picture for ourselves the whole schema of the Ten Sfirot, which uh, plays an important part in this mimer. The Ten Sfirot divide into essentially three triads. The triad of the Sfirot that are related to the faculties of the head, the mind, namely Chokhmah, Bina, and Da'at. Then there is the triad of action, the hands, that is Chesed, Gibura, with Tiferet as the balance of the two of them in the center corresponding to the heart. Then the lower triad is that of the legs, Netzach, Hod, Yisod. These are the attributes with which we get moving and influence the world. And we've spoken until now about, first of all, how the tenth element, the Malchut, which is the lowest of the ten Spirot, which is precisely the attribute that gets captured by the Kalifot. Malchut is the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence. We saw how the first step of the morning service is through the Simcha of the practical mitzvahs to bring the Malchut out of its exile among the Kalifot. And then the next step is to pre- uh, begin the ascent by, uh, by letting the, the, uh, the, the level of Malchut now become attached to the triad which is above it, namely Netachod Yisod. And the session we just learned before the break spoke about how when we perform the mitzvah instead of Simcha, this sets ripples going through all of the spiritual worlds and the mitzvah really starts to go and to travel and to affect the higher worlds. So now Rav Nachman continues in section Dalet of the Maimer V'alidei ha'his oiderus Ha'inu alidei halicho Nimshach brocho lekol ha'ilamois V'zeh b'chinas netzach chod yisod Malbishin es chesed gibur tif eres Sheheim ha'yodayim Shemisham kol ha'brochois V'zeh b'chinas v'yvorech Hashem oisecho l'ragli נימסו שאולין אורגלים ובחינס יודאים ובחינס ותילך יד בני ישראל הולך וקושה ואיקר הברוכס מיודאים ובחינס ויסו הרוין אס יודוב אל האום ויבורכם כמו שכוסוף מידי אוויר יעקב משום רוי אבן ישראל זה רב נחמן through the arousal that is created by means of the performance of the mitzvah on the level of Asiya, that the mitzvah begins to go and affect all the, the worlds, through this arousal there is drawn blessing into the worlds. Now what exactly is blessing? Of course we love blessings, we love blessings of Parnassah, we love blessings of health, we love blessings of, uh, of the good things of this world, but the real blessings are the blessings of the soul. We'll know that you can, uh, uh, the, 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 the same physical situation can be seen in two completely different ways. It can be seen in a negative way, it can be seen in a positive way. So through a, a sheer flip in sechel, in the fact of the mind, we can actually find blessing in places where previously somebody didn't see the blessing. So the, bless, the real blessings in the world are the blessings of sechel. And Reb Nachman is going to go into this in greater detail in a little while, but for now he tells us that as the mitzvah begins to travel in the world and create ripples of effects and the blessing is drawn into the world, this is the concept where Netzachod Yisod, the bottom triad, is now becomes a garb for Chesed Gevor Tiferet. The lower triad now becomes the means through which the upper triad is expressed. And the upper triad is, is the triad of the Yodaim, the hands, which are the source of all the blessings. And Arab Nachman quotes a couple of verses which illustrate how 
the blessings affect the different levels. The first verse he brings is Jacob saying to Lavan that God has blessed you on my account. And the word, the expression used for on my account is the ragli. The ragli, according to where my legs moved, so the blessing came into the world. This is the Nachman's first illustration that there is a connection between the level of the blessings and the level of the legs. And according to this verse, the, there is a concept of the legs actually rising up and clothing the level of the hands. And this is expressed in a verse in Shoftim, the book of Judges, which says that, Vatilet yad b'nei Yisrael holot v'kosher. The hand of Israel went and traveled, becoming more and more hard. That is a very paradoxical verse, because the verse uses of the hand of Israel, the hand of power of Israel, in the land of Israel, it uses the verb, the hand went. We see that a verb which is associated with movement of the feet is, 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 in this verse, use of the hand. So we see this connection between the level of the legs and the level of the hands, and the essence of the blessings are actually drawn out of the hands. And this is evident from the verse in Vayikra, describing how after the sanctuary was dedicated, Aaron, the high priest, blessed the people. It says, Vayiso Aaron et Yodoi el Ha'on Mevorachem. Aaron lifted up his hands to the people and gave the blessings to his hands. Well, what have the hands got to do with blessings? We normally think of the hands as taking something, receiving something, but the, the Chiddush of Aaron is that he uses his hands in a different way from the way most people use their hands. He raises his hands up to Shemayim, and what he's receiving is not something initially physical, but something that's actually spiritual. So the hand is elevated. We see the same thing by Moshe uh, with, in the war against Amalek, that uh, when uh, Moses went up to the mountain to pray while Yoshua was fighting Amalek, so it says the, uh, that his hand uh, was emona. And the Targum uh, translates that verse as that uh, uh, he, he raised his hands in prayer. In other words, the physical metaphor of receiving and holding something is a metaphor for something that is a spiritual process where, where, where a mullah becomes the vessel through which a spiritual influence is able to be received. And this relates to what I was talking about at the, outside, at the outset of this class, of the whole process of joining the worlds one to the other. This is implicit in, as I quoted earlier, the very first teaching in the Kutimaran, which says that the Israelite is obliged always to go behind the exterior appearance and search out the pnimius which lies behind it. This is the process of always searching for sechel. And here we have this precise what we're doing when we, when, when we elevate the hands in prayer, that we are trying to get behind the exterior appearance of the universe to the source of blessing which lies within it. And Rabbi Nachman continues in this section to uh, quote verses which speak about how the blessings come from the hands. He quotes Jacob's uh, blessing in uh, Pasha's Vayechi, Miyadei Avir Yaakov. The blessings come from the hand of the mighty one of Jacob. Now, Rav Nachman continues in section Hey of the Mimer. The Iker Habrocho Shenishvoyen Mi Hayodayim Heim Sechel. The very essence of the blessing that is drawn down from the hands is the blessings of the spirit, the mind, the, the intellect, the soul.